Hello folks. Well many of you know I do my own mechanic work and I like to do that and recently made videos on changing the right half shaft on my Chrysler Town & Country to get rid of the vibration and how I changed the plugs and coil pack to no avail to finally changing the ECU to fix that misfire. Of course I tried lots of additives at first to try to fix that number two misfire code that lit the check engine fault light but none of them worked. I tried seafoam and many others to no avail. You know, I used seafoam in my boat, cycles, and cars for many years, but never really noticed anything different. But I was always told it was the best. When that engine code kept coming on, that's when I tried different brands. One of them was the Starbright product called Startron. It was intriguing because it said it had enzymes in it, and that's how it worked. Well. Well, what I knew about enzymes was that I thought they were human products in the body. So I began searching and found this. So you might want to read what enzymes really are. Okay, we've got everything set up here. Here's the Startron's enzyme fuel treatment. We're going to go ahead and test it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my gasoline. And we're going to pour some in the jar. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plain, ordinary, this is Ice Mountain, it's 100% natural spring water, so it's got all the minerals in it and the stuff that rainwater would have in it. Okay, and I'm going to pour some of that water in there. And as you can see, there it plainly is down on the on the bottom. It has some bubbles in it at the moment. Let me just stir that around a little bit. So there's the water. Now I'm going to take some of the Startron enzyme treatment and I'm going to pour some of that in there. I probably put in an ounce and we can see what happened. There's absolutely water still on the bottom. Now that's just sitting there. So they say you got to let it dry a little bit. So let's go ahead and mix this all up. This is the enzyme and fuel treatment. Now there Looks to me like the water is still there. I don't see how that water got broken up into tiny molecules and mixed with the fuel. Because your fuel pump pickup usually is on the bottom of the tank. This is why at the bottom of an airplane you want to drain a little bit out of the tank first because the water will always come out first because it's always on the bottom. There's your gasoline up there. So I'm going to let this sit now for about an hour and we'll come back to it and see uh, if it did anything to make it work any better or if it looks like it ate up that water. It says it needs to run an hour. So let's just 
let it sit and see what happens. The water is still perfectly on the, the bottom. Uh, doesn't look like it did anything to me. Now maybe it'll clean your fuel injectors because most of the stuff in here is naphtha which uh, of course will burn. Uh, Alright, in fact let's go ahead and just add a little more water in here so you can see that water always goes to the bottom. Well, I suspect many of you have your own stories and as the reviews show most of them are positive and say this stuff is a miracle. I can't tell if it's dispersing enough water to matter or even at all so I don't know how or if it really works. But nonetheless it satisfied what I wanted to know. I worked as a mechanic many years ago and we always pushed STP and other additives because there was no way of knowing if they worked unless you took your engine apart. So it was easy to sell it. My little demo is like taking the gas tank apart to see what's going on. You know, you could draw your own conclusions, but I don't see the water being dispersed into tiny molecules throughout the gas as they claim. And if they did, science tells me they're just going to drop down to the bottom pretty rapidly as I have shown. So that's my test. Maybe not real scientific. I would think if I had a lot of water in my tank, it's going to be on the bottom no matter what you put in there. So thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, drive safe, and God bless.